Let me ask about the business aspect of it. Because I think people kind of gloss over that. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important, especially nowadays in battle rap. Because battle rap is no longer it's battle rap culture. This is a full-on industry now. Yeah, a full-on industry. So, is one of the reasons for the 100% footage is because, now this is me kind of inserting, inserting my opinion. Mm -hmm. I think the Terry Rock battle has slowly kind of been swept a little bit, kind of like under the rug a little bit, kind of like people know that it happened, but since it didn't there, come out on a YouTube... Yeah, there's, there's, or, no, there's no way... Like, it helped me because it was like... All right, put it like this. Battle rap is now uh, what we call fireworks. They go up in the air, they pop, but there's no way to figure out, like... like there's no way to get the, the remaining fragments... Of the firework. It's just going to air and explode and they disappear. With me and Tay Rock, it was an amazing firework show. But there's no um there's no tangible items afterwards. So yeah, everybody's seen it, but there's no way for the general public to rewatch it. They're not going to the app. They're not gonna buy it on the app at all. We're talking about we're talking about the the, the most viewed battle on the on URL app. Is me and Tay Rock. I think it's seven hundred some thousand views or whatever. But it's the most viewed battle on the app. It's only seven hundred some thousand people seen it on the app. If this battle had come out in the actual real world, like on YouTube or on like a, a, a platform where people can just share the link and watch, it'll probably be in like twenty million, fifty million right now, sixty million, probably more than that. Cause there's a lot of people retweeting this shit and talking about this. Shit shit that that normally people don't talk about battle rap like this so people were retweeting it out of this world um i just feel like right now where i'm at in my career battles that don't drop on youtube or battles that i don't have access to the footage it, it will hurt me in the long run and i'm i'm just not privy to doing it no more ever again ever in my entire career ever if we're not talking rights to anything i don't even have nothing to talk about that's fine Hmm. Do you do you do you feel that, or do you think that the same type of thing can happen when it comes to Gucci and Lux? Because since URL throws so many events back to back, it's easy for certain battles can kind of get you know what I mean. Yeah. Sweat. Do you think that's something that can happen with that battle? Oh uh, no, that's in the culture. Mm. That's in the culture. Um, I thought people was gonna throw it under the rug, but the culture ain't letting it. They, they like stamping that shit like, yo, you lost, nigga. You got to come back outside ASAP. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think it's because Lux set so high on the food chain and now he looked real human. He looked immortal for a long time, even with bad battles. You know, let, let's just say Miles, Calico, Hollow. Those are three amazing showings. After that, everything's been very mediocre. Very, like, very, very, very mediocre. And I think he was living off a specific high horse. This battle was like, all right, nigga. All right, nigga. We didn't let you slide about four or five times with bullshit. And then you're going to have to come back outside and get crazy. So I think he got to come back outside and get crazy. I think he needs to take somebody that really means something. He needs to take like a real sick or easy to block captain or a rum. Or I would say JC, but I don't, I think he's going to wipe the floor with JC. Um, uh, he needs to take the easy to block captain. DNA? Uh, he need, no, 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 not DNA. Uh, uh, he needs to take like, like something that's going to push him. He needs to take a B dot. He might need. He might need to even need to see King Los to be honest. Um, Lux and Los might be kind of. I never crazy. thought about that. That's kind of crazy. King Los and Lux might be kind of wild. Because King Los in that last battle looked kind of spooky. Was, yeah, he bro. was like he found it. He found <laughs> it. But, you know, he, he went and watched our battle and figured out what he needed to do. Um, and that's and you know, Los, my brother, like he'll tell you, like, like I reached out to Los. We ain't we hadn't talked in three years. And I reached out to Los and told him directly, like, this is something that I want to do. 
Um, not only because I want to beat you, like I want to help get you back in the loop de loop with this shit. Because I feel battle rap is suffering from the loss of lyricists. So, and once again, I tell you, I work on like a celestial thinking, a, a, a Marvel celestial thinking. I believe in death can give life, and life can give death, and everything good don't, might not be bad, and everything bad might not be good. Um, vice versa, ECT. So, I told Los, like, nah, let's do this. Let's do this. And when we do it, it's going to be, like, masterful. So, what I did was when we battled, I wanted to show him, look, listen to me, bro. I could end you. I can end it all. I can end everything in existence. I can say one word and shake the building. I can say a half a word and shake the building. I can end this whole thing. I'm going to let my foot off the gas and allow you to grow. I even told the crowd, hey, y'all be quiet and make sure y'all cheer for him. A guy in the back, cut his microphone up some. Let's make sure he gets treated fairly. I said all of this on stage. Let's make sure he, he survives this. In that aspect, one thing, Lo, one thing Los learned from me that battle was he learned what type of person I really am. I'm a very good person, bro. I'm not here to destroy. I'm here to build by any means. And I know that Los is a fellow griot. He's another person that is privy to giving information. So, moving forward, um, going into his DNA battle, he was a lot comfortable. He was a, a lot more comfortable. Like, yo, I just fought, I fought a fucking God, nigga. These other niggas ain't finna scratch me. And he walked in there like that. It was clean curtains. Curtains. So, moving forward, um, I wouldn't mind seeing the Lux of Lowe's. Lux can't take no easy fight, though. He can't be. He can't take a nigga that's already wounded or like mm -hmm. like if he take a JC. JC already wounded to me. Like he he ain't JC that we used to know. It's you can see it. Look, it's evident. He not shiny, sparkly kid JC no more. That's out the window. Um, you know I wouldn't mind seeing a Lux and Sirius Jones because Jones been in a crazy bag lately. I wouldn't mind seeing a Lux and Iron Solomon. Um, you know it's a, he got to come outside and fight one of them niggas that really do that. Lux and Chilla Jones. Oh, man, it's a lot of niggas, but he got to come outside. <laughs>